4th Feb has been coined as a World Cancer Day. And today I am here to clarify some of the myths which has been circulating in the regular public. Cancer is not a death sentence because many cancer has been cured. I could say that, that almost 75% of all cancer if we put together can be cured. Out of that, some of them are even 90% of patients can be cured. So it's important that we have to understand that today's science has been able to give a good treatment to come up to this kind of a longevity to cancer patients. Another concern is that, that is cancer contagious? Example, if a patient who is suffering from cancer, he is in the house, everybody is afraid that are we going to even contaminate or get cancer. At the present, we have to say, yes, cancer is not contagious. Only 5 to 10 percent cancers are genetical, while 90 to 95 percent of cancer is due to the mutation of cells. This mutation of cells can happen due to some external environmental injuries like radiation or it could be viral infection or it could be something like tobacco chewing or tobacco smoking. So one should not be afraid about that so many cancer and all cancer are genetical. If brother, sister or mother, father having cancer that means you're going to have cancer. There are certain cancer, yes, if it's in the family a lot, then that's the cancer requires a screening, that family needs to be screened. So example, there are very rarely, but some breast cancer, which are genetical, and that's the time you have to get through this screening. There is also a bit about that the patient goes through the biopsy or surgery, the cancer spreads rapidly. I must say that and have confidence surgeons do the good job and not to have cancer spread and right now scientifically we all know that the biopsies are safe for diagnosis and to go through it is always advised. Many patients as well as family members are afraid about the cancer treatment and I do understand that it is scary. In past, there were experiences where the side effects of the drug, side effects of radiations were very high. There are so many advances has happened in cancer treatment. If you take up the surgery, now surgeries which are done like endoscopic surgery or robotic surgery, where the patients can go home soon, the injuries to other tissues are less, the blood loss is less and recovery is very fast. If you take up radiation, radiation is also one of the important arm of a treatment of cancer patient. Today's technology, such advanced technology has brought very, very high quality instruments which delivers a high quality radiation where the tissues, the normal tissues will get less injury and patient recovers fast. They are done as an outpatient which doesn't need to be admitted. We have now chemotherapy, we have targeted therapy, we have immunotherapy and there are lots of biomodulators which can treat the patient to get the cure. I hope I have cleared most of the myths about cancer and misunderstanding and I really hope that cancer patients don't run away from the treatment as this treatment can make them lead normal life during treatment, after treatment and there are cures which are possible.